Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the NBA. So y'all check this out. Man, y'all check paying attention to Luka Doncic. Shh. Luka Doncic is having a run. I'm talking about boy got about six games with 30-point triple doubles. Six games, 30-point triple doubles. Everybody's seeing it. The dude's, dude's is throwing down, right? He's got a pretty complete game. He's throwing down, and um, it's awesome. You know, it's not really, you know, turning into wins, but Dallas is in there. Look like they're going to get a you know, high enough seed where they won't have to be in a play-in tournament. He should be able to get them there. I think the uh, addition of Daniel Gafford, it's going to help them considerably. You know, don't underestimate Daniel Gafford. Uh, you know, the dude get, jumps out of the, the gym, plays pretty good defense, and, and Dallas needs some defense. Now, you know, Powell is all right, but I think Powell is not a starter. So, they, you know, Dallas is going to be all right. Uh, it seems to be that Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving are handling their business together. And so you're going to have people, you know, if you get close in games and in the playoffs, you have closers. So uh, y'all better not let Dallas – be close. Luka Doncic is going on a historic run here, and uh, you'll keep your eye on it. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I love it because it's making Russell Westbrook look a whole lot better. Right? A whole lot better if you're paying attention. Right? Because Russell Westbrook can't shoot, right? Wasn't he Westbrook or something like that? He can't shoot, right? Russell Westbrook ain't 6'8". Russell Westbrook's 6'3". Okay? He didn't average that for six games. He averaged that for a year. 30 points, 11 and 11 for a whole damn year in the NBA without being able to shoot. That is ridiculous. So now you can kind of fathom it, right? Fathom what you just saw. Not to mention I did it four years, averaging triple-double. We're just talking about 30 points because Russell Westbrook led the league in scoring before. He's led the league in assist before. He's the best rebounding guard in the history of the game, but he's still much maligned, right? So we're going to take off that maligned. We're noticing what Doncic is doing, right? So damn it, Westbrook, the king. That's what it is. I don't miss Westbrook games. I didn't let nobody tell me what, because I know what I saw. So now watch it through Doncic, then you can understand what Westbrook was doing all the time, all the damn time. Right? At 6'3". People, he's patting his stats. People letting him get rebounds back then. Oh, no, they were letting him get rebounds. No, the difference is when Westbrook gets rebounds, the center's understood. We better let him get it and feel the damn lane because he's pushing the pace. Okay? Transition baskets all day. And Russell Westbrook's assist is not just uh, somebody standing in the short corner three. Right? You know, we're throwing the ball blindly to the short corner three, and you got the nerve to be in the NBA top ten plays. It's somebody better be standing in the short corner three nowadays in the NBA, or else the coach going to get mad at him. So, yes, you can throw the ball blindly to the, to the damn three without even looking. And if somebody ain't there, somebody getting chewed out. That's not what Rush does. He gets past that guy, even though he doesn't have the best handles in the world. He gets past his guy, comes in, somebody getting an alley-up thrown to him, or a nice pass because somebody's going to have to stop Russell Westbrook from dunking on him. That's what we had an opportunity to enjoy. Now, I was smart enough to not miss any games when it's Oklahoma City and when he was in uh, Washington. Didn't miss any games. When he was in Houston, okay, I missed a few because I, I can't watch uh, James Harden so much. Because he's a product of how they call him the game. You know, a little cheating going on. It's hard for me to watch that. And at the Lakers, even though I'm an L.A. Laker fan, obviously I grew up there in Inglewood. You know what I'm saying? Inglewood. Grew up there, right? Right down the street from the farm. But the bottom line is, right, the L.A., how they treated Russell Westbrook, I couldn't watch. Right? Blaming him for every damn thing. And I, could, I couldn't watch that. So I, I got a little attitude with my boys in the Lakers right now, but I'm going to always have love for them. But I got a little attitude. You know you get an attitude with a family member. That's all it is. I love them. But uh, <clears throat> the Clippers, Westbrook's there. So I'm watching my Clippers. You understand? Watching them. Westbrook is there. Coming from the bench, shouldn't be, <clears throat> but on that team, go ahead. Go let everybody go in there. Just one ball for all three of them. Good. When I come in, somebody, that second unit, we're going to be running. And in the playoffs, it's going to pay off. Just like last year in the playoffs when everybody was hurt and they damn near beat Phoenix. Because Westbrook was doing what? Exactly. So, yes, Luka Doncic is handling his business. 
But now you see what Westbrook was doing. Now I'm just going to say this. You know, people that know me. The NBA is that basically banned defense. Okay? If you've been watching this for decades, you know, then you can see where well, they just said it's illegal to play defense in the NBA. It's, it's just really illegal. Right? Three-point shots, you can't defend them. It looks so easy to play. That's why they're scoring 140 points in regulation. Teams jacking up 30 to 43s. That doesn't even, it's not even really fun to watch. Why, what, why, what's wrong with defense? We can't play it, right? It's easy to score. The, the offensive player is initiating contact, and then we get, we initiating contact, and then we call it cool things. Like he's, ran, uh, he's uh, created you know, space, right? Runs right through him. All those things. No, that means offensive foul, right? Dude jumps straight up vertically. Somebody jumps into him. We think it's a good play. You know, people at the three-point line swinging their hands through and getting called fouls called. People, you know, just trying to defend and then but better watch out where the dude can land. If you're going to get three points for it, it should be you to figure out where you're going to land. So the three-point shot is harder. Dude, I was just shooting the other day. Ain't been in the gym in six months. Don't go to off like I used to. I'm knocking down threes at a high clip. You better not leave me in the three, uh, short corner three or any three open. Ridiculous. If I was in the gym six days a week, it's over for anybody. Right? Only problem is you got to roll me to that position because <laughs> I can't get over there. Get the hell out of here. It's too easy. Anybody who's played basketball for a few months, that's too easy. So that's where I'm coming from. I love defenses. I love the Dennis Rodman a Ben Wallace, you know what I'm saying? A Scottie Pippen. Do you guys realize what Scottie Pippen was? We always talk about Jordan, this and that. He wasn't winning nothing without Scottie Pippen because Scottie Pippen could, could guard anybody from the one to the five, period. Some kind of way. If he's down on a low block with somebody from the five, then the, the, the dude going to hit him once. And the next time, they're going to get an offensive foul mess with Scottie Pippen. Or that pass that you're going to try to throw in there is going to get stolen. Brings me to my best player of all time for me is Hakeem Olajuwon. Best defensive center ever. Ever. The you know, only one even close is Bill Russell. But there was that parody when Bill Russell was playing. About, what was it, 12 teams? 15 players in the whole damn league? Well, get the hell out of here. That's not close to what Hakeem Olajuwon was doing. And I'm talking about most blocks in history and the only center in the top 10 in steals. Right? And I'm talking about really stealing, if you pay attention. And I ain't said nothing about his offense, because offense we probably the best center ever offensively because you couldn't stop him. No kind of way. Mid-range shot, right? Pump fakes, up and unders. I'm a reverse pivot and face you up, and you better not because you're going to get crossovered. Right? We didn't, I, did I even mention the dream shake yet? Man, what the hell? Every move ever. And if I start a team, I start it with the dream. By the way, so is Michael Jordan. So anyway, I'm just coming from a defensive perspective. So that's probably why I'm just, I told you that so you can understand why my opinion is this. So Luka Doncic is having a historic run and it's awesome to watch. It's just in, in this, well, I, I won't say awesome because it's easy in this game to score, but whatever. It's still awesome because ain't nobody else doing it. But that's the same thing I was saying about Russell Westbrook. It's ridiculously awesome because ain't nobody else doing it. Can y'all feel that? Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.